ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಪಿತೃದೋಷ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೈ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಕಾಲ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದೋಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದೇ ಕಾಲ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಾನ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲಜರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲಜರ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪಿತೃದೋಷ್ ಆರ್ ಯೋರ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪಿತೃದೋಷ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪಿತೃದೋಷ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ or even if you are married for example assuming that your pitra dosh is not very active why is it not active because the dashas are not going on okay so when your pitra dosh is usually connected to surya and rahu so you know assuming that you have pitra dosh in your chart but they are more active when you have the surya or the rahu dashas or antar dashas now for example you don't have those dashas going on somehow you you know all your other planets are favorable so you get married then because of pitru dosh there is a probability that he or she whoever is got the dosh may not get have may get married but may not have children so it's like you know every step of your life pitru dosh or the blessings of pitru really matters now whether you have pitru dosh or not during the shraddha month or the pitru paksh we say it's always good to do prayers for your pitru showing your gratitude so we have the tarpan way of doing it we have hiranya shraddha we have tilahoma or havan we have the danas to be done if not anything else a simple annadan can really help you in getting the blessings of pitru but you have to do it consciously say for example you do annadan for a certain number of people that morning you pray to your kula devata and say my dear kula devata i want my blessings of pitrus so this annadan is punya can that be accounted for that so that way you'll have to pray and i wouldn't say the word trading but something like that you know you'll have to seek blessings saying consciously i'm doing this for this particular reason now pitru dosh is something coming back to pitru dosh where irrespective of dosh or not this shraddha month is very auspicious to do and you one must do prayers for pitrus now assuming you have pitru dosh then you all the more whether it is shraddha month or not it's always advisable to get the blessings of pitrus through at least 12000 avrutis of tilahoma now this is something which is so beneficial because all your unknown and known pitru devatas ancestors sometimes karunya pitru some people whom you just know once or twice you would have met and they die somehow they are connected to you soul wise so they become your karunya pitrus and so even they everybody comes into the picture everything is karma it's the web of karma and some connectivity is there which is why i i always suggest that if you have pitru dosh whether you have it in your dasha which is going on right now or not just clear that dosha off it's as good as having cancer in your body what stage is it active in what stage it is is something that you know only through symptoms only then you go get yourself tested and then say oh yeah you have and suddenly doctors will say you have stage 3 stage 4 cancer likewise pitru dosh may be dormant because you may have got married on time you may have had children on time but suddenly if it becomes active you may lose a family member i have seen so many people suddenly meeting with an accident and dying and uh, suddenly their business not growing suddenly they financially uh, crumbling down and you know not sudden downfall because that dasha will come into the picture and at that time it's irreversible the damage is already done so always seek the blessings of pitrus and if you have any uh, unfulfilled obligation which is reflected in your chart through pitru dosha it is always advisable to get a pitru dosha shanti tila homa done so many i have seen many cases where uh, couples do get married they do have children but marriages don't last long so they end up in a divorce many many things like this i don't want to scare you in this i'm just trying to draw awareness as to what how devastating this can be for one so you know you really need to check your chart if you have pitru dosh if you have it uh, whether it's an active phase or a passive phase get it get it cleansed so uh, it's not necessary that you also have to do it only in gaya or kashi or gokarna you can do it anywhere Uh, doing in a kshetra is wonderful but not everybody can afford it so you know get it done we we at pujas dot in also organize the pitru dosha shanti tila homa with all the purvanga dana and uttaranga dana and now during this pitru paksha or shraddha mas we are actually the paksha we are actually doing different different variations different options suiting the budget of people at the same time making sure that they are also able to do something in a small way or a big way or a minor way at least something they are able to do for their forefathers or ancestors so we are also having uh, uh, three options for whoever is interested for this shraddha month if they want to do 
any any activity which is like a spiritual activity for that pitrus so if you are interested you can reach out to me i'll be very happy to organize this for you like i said don't ignore your ancestors they are equal to gods in fact we always say that even if you don't do pujas for gods it's always good to pray to your ancestors there and your kula devata most important is to you just cannot ignore your growth is just not possible without their blessings so it's absolutely imperative to have their blessings so yes go for pitru dosha shanti if you have a dosha if you don't have a dosha just do the usual shraddh the the havan the daan okay any any of these options you can choose and get it done for your your ancestors seek their blessings prosper well grow and flourish thank you namaste